Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, TR Bailey 823 here, um, coming at you guys with the uh, deck profile of the uh, deck that I decided to play at the Pokemon Regional in Collinville, Illinois, uh, this last weekend. I didn't do extremely well um, with the deck, uh, but I did a lot of testing with it beforehand, and I felt like it was a really good call. Um, I was actually surprised to find out that a lot of other people had a similar idea to what I was playing. Um, I didn't really consult with anyone except my friends about this particular deck, and uh, I, I thought it was kind of a homebrew that we had put together, but it turns out that uh, there's a lot of people that had interest in playing uh, Weavile in some capacity, and I guess that's no surprise considering how good it is, um, and then Zoroark's just Zoroark, so... I guess that's self-explanatory in that sense. But anyway, let's get into this deck profile, and then we'll talk about it more in depth. Um, so first, there was uh, two Sneasel. I went ahead and went with the Sneaky Smash Sneasel, um, just simply because its attack was alright, and it had 70 hit points. And then I did one of each uh, Weavile. So the Rule of Evil Weavile is from a few sets ago. It's actually really good. It does 60 damage to each Pokemon that has an ability. And it does yours as well. Now, of course, in our deck, we're going to play the Mr. Mime with it to make sure it doesn't do it to ourself. So basically how it would work is you would end up doing 60, maybe even twice, um, to just three or four different guys. And then all of a sudden, everything gets hit with one shot by either Zoroark. So it became a lot easier as the game progressed. Um, to just knock things out, whereas it would be difficult for my opponent to take to take any of mine with it without, you know, two shotting. So uh, because this is a deck with dark energy, I went with the Zoro with moon, moonlit ma moonless madness. <laughs> I called it moonlight madness, so it shows you what I know. Um, your opponent's active Pokemon becomes confused. It comes up from time to time. Uh, it's just better than you know hitting a guy for twenty for a double colorless. Um, and then, you know, you guys know what the stand-in Zoroark does. Um, you know, that with Floatstone's really good, but on top of that, Mind Jack's a pretty good attack. But it's really for Zoroark Break. Um, so we were testing, Eddie and I were testing this Zoroark uh, Dark Ride deck, and it just so happened that Zoroark's uh, Trickster GX was just an absolutely insane attack. It was hard to explain how good it was, because what would happen in the game is... Anytime you had a moment where you had to, you know, you had to really get at your opponent, you'd use the Trickster GX attack, especially when you played against the Buzzwall Lycanroc deck. And uh, so we figured, hey, you know, if if Trickster GX is really good, even though Foul Play is limited to your active Pokemon, Foul Play is a really good attack as well. Um, you know, you can copy your opponent's attacks at any time, not just the GX attacks, obviously. Um, but it just gave us extra outs to things that you normally didn't have an out to. And that's exactly what Mew EX did as well. It really helped against Gardevoir. Uh, most of the time you'd use it to copy either Mind Jack or uh, Riotous Beating. And you would end up uh, being able to KO Buzz Walls and things like that in one shot. And then of course we played the Double Lay Lake. So you gotta see, you got to get to Bridget. you got to be able to close the game with Guzma. Things like that. And then probably the best card in the deck, uh, in terms of the uh, item cards, is probably Evo Soda. This card was really, really good. Um, virtually, it's a Ultra Ball on crack as the game progresses, since this deck is so uh, reliant on evolution plays. Um, as long as you have, as long as you've bridged it on the first turn, after that, Evo Soda pretty much gets you whatever you need and could want. Um, and then I played one Field Blower. Um, I kind of should have played more than that. Uh, one was one was enough for the most part, except when I played against a uh, a Dark Hoopa deck with uh, Fury Belts. Um, but yeah, fl Blower's a Blower's a good card. Obviously, people are playing the Espeon Garb deck, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, Puzzle of Time is kind of self-explanatory. Get your guys back, and so is Rescue Stretcher. This card's actually kind of MVP too. This card uh, lets you grab back all sorts of things. Since you only play a 2-1-1 one, a, a one, one line of the Weaviles, it kind of lets you put the pieces together of the ones you wanted specifically. And then 4 Ultra Ball is staple, 4 Cynthia staple, 
three in staple, three Guzma staple, and then of course the two Bridget, which is also staple. Um, for the tools, I did two choice band and two float stones. Um, I couldn't knock the numbers down to put it at 3-3 like I probably would normally play, or like a 3-2, something like that. Um, but because of the way that the Rule of Evil uh, Weavile worked, oftentimes you didn't really need choice pans as the game went on, so you'd want to save them for just the right moments, and two felt right because of that. And then with Floatstone, as long as you didn't get blowered, um, you know, you'd only really need one once you get a stand in Zoroark. And then for energies, I put the seven dark energies. You definitely want to see those. And then also the four double colorless energy for the same reason. You want to have those uh, when you're using Zoroark and Mu EX. So this is what I played. I did uh, I did all right. When I when I stopped playing, I was I was four one and two. Uh, I was a little frustrated when I when I stopped. I guess I could have I could have kept going and gotten some world points probably if I had won the last couple. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm still kind of a little bit new to the Pokemon in terms of the competitive scene and stuff, and, uh, and those things are, are kind of different to me, because I came from Yu-Gi-Oh!, and, uh, when you get that many ties, the, it's over, so I, I just kind of had the wrong mindset with that, but, uh, you know, lesson learned, and I'll, and I'll keep playing next time. Um, anyways, if you guys really liked this, uh, deck profile, please like and subscribe. We're going to be putting up more stuff, and, uh, I really do hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, like I said, give me the thumbs up, and have a great rest of your day.